Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. Arrest me, I don't care. Shoot me, tase me, kill me, I don't care. I'm still gonna film. You ain't gonna stop me from filming. You just stop yourself from being free when you go to prison. Another officer passed by. So I got one, two, three, four, five police cars here in the EMS. I don't know how many officers I have. It's pretty dark and uh, EMS are now wearing black just like the police and they're scaring people looking like cops. So Chief Acevedo assured me that I wouldn't be um, harassed for filming anymore and that this type of stuff doesn't happen. He said, you don't get bothered for filming, do you? I told him I do and he doesn't want to listen to me, but I can show him video after video of bad cops that he has under his, under his command that he needs to fire and charge with crimes. Um, whether he'll do it or not is another thing, but he needs to see these videos of these cops that do interfere with filming, which is a First Amendment protected uh, constitutional act. It's, uh, it's actually the way to keep police accountable when the system doesn't work. And if they won't let us do it, we're going to have to up our game. Some cops got to go to prison, as an example. I'll choose this cop. He'd do well in prison. He might find some buddies that he arrested in there. He might have a good time. Cops don't last long in prison because they basically oppress so many people that they're recognized. You can't hide them. Bad cops deserve to be in prison. They put us in prison. Thing, bad things happen to us. A lot of people die in prison. Most people in prison are innocent of the guilt of the, of the uh, crime that they're actually convicted of. They're not guilty, but the crime labs lie, the cops lie, the system lies, the prosecutor lies. It's all a cover-up. Look at Michael Morton. There was an entire Michael Morton act over him. He spent 25 years in jail for a crime he didn't do, and the uh, prosecutor got three days for violating the law, and they had to create a whole law to recover the rules of evidence on top of the Brady Act we got now the Michael Morton Act which if an officer I mean a prosecutor hides evidence it would have been um, exculpatory to your case or helped you win your case then that prosecutor has violated the law and can go to jail now for maybe three days maybe less it's not much of a law but at least we got something Come talk to me? No. Looks like they're uncuffing him. So obviously I'm not too worried about anything since he was cuffed, he couldn't hurt me, hurt anybody or them and now he's uncuffed and he's not unarmed and they've already searched him but they still want to maintain some arbitrary distance for their safety or my safety or some kind of safety issue but there's no safety issue here other than the fact that the police are too aggressive and they create a uh, officer safety problem by being assholes someday someone's going to check those assholes I hope someone checks their assholes soon memory card error just now that was weird and they uh, basically stalk these people and uh, try to find something going on in the poor areas of town they're actually selling kilos of cocaine and trafficking babies on the rich parts of town but they're over here fucking with the poor to get petty crimes when they could be going after real crimes your entire their entire government has uh, created wars and tortured people and put lead in water all sorts of stuff typhoid and children uh, you know, you name it, and no, there's not a single cop that goes after those criminals. So, um, really, until we have something done about the government suppression, the citizens are angels. I mean, these cops commit more crimes on a daily basis than you or I do in our lifetime. The Constitution's a serious law, not some joke that these guys can just harass people over. When I said I, he was infringing on my First Amendment right to film, and I told him I was press, he violated the Constitution, First Amendment twice, and he didn't seem to care. He was unswayed by the law, unswayed by 
someone tell them that they're exercising his right, their rights, even though the police policy says that, they're, that they have to uphold our rights. It opens the prelude to the police. The Austin police policy says that they have to be professional, uphold all citizens' constitutional rights. You can go look that up. It's on Google. Start page. Careful. Bunch of crazy cops over there, man. So he's closer than I am still. He's a If I could film from that location, I'd be in a better spot. But uh, of course they won't let me. And I don't really have to put up with this shit anymore. I'm pretty fucking pissed. Um, I don't like being told shit that's illegal. I don't like criminal fucking cops in blue. I don't like criminals in color of law. And uh, you know, I don't really care if people watch this video and get upset with it in internal affairs because uh, I have a First Amendment right to speak. They don't have any right to interfere with my filming under the First Amendment. And they don't have any right to interfere with my filming beyond 10 feet under uh, the Glick ruling, under federal law. So, um, the policy also says they don't have any right to bother me as long as I'm in a public place that's, uh, that I can film reasonably, then I can, I can be, have a reasonable expectation of being left the F alone. But yet, yeah, they still want this cop right here, this dirty cop, fuck that cop. Yeah, fuck you. You needed privacy, you should have stayed in the bathroom, shithead. You don't get no privacy out here. We don't get no privacy, you don't get no privacy. It's the deal, buddy. You're the deal breaker. You think I'll get a supervisor and an incident number? If I was gonna look at the magic ball, I would say the odds are against it. I'm pissed. You don't wanna piss me off. I'm the wrong motherfucker to piss off. I've been through shit, so much shit, it's not even funny. Pulling stunt game like that, not obeying any kind of law. Someone's gonna citizens arrest him or worse. That's all I'm saying. They won't let me over there. I do, man, I've been covering both of you, man. I got you, man. Got a pipe or something over there. Maybe a baseball bat? I don't know. Might have had a little argument here. And then the gun showed up. And then they started threatening everybody. So how did that make everything better? How does that make anything better? So the citizens know what's up, the cops know what's up, everybody knows what's up. But the cops don't want to comply with the law, they want to make up their own arbitrary rules. And that shit's going to burn them. Some cop needs to get fired. Starting with this jackass right here. Not like being pissed off. Oh, another pipe. Nice. I like little pipe wars. Playing the good cop, bad cop routine and lying to the people about things so they can get more information and just and uh, divide families. The cops uh, basically are an economic drain on our entire system when they break up families and cause people to lose their jobs. It drains the entire economy. The police state, prison state, is an unsustainable welfare state that is dragging this country into the depths of a Great Depression, the third one. This whole thing is corrupt and, and flawed. And until we get rid of these cops, until we get rid of those prisons and put these cops in prisons, put the bankers in prisons, put the lawyers in prisons, put the, the president in prison, put the legislature in prison, put all the corrupt politicians and all the clerks and all the other jackasses that, that corrupt this entire system, we're going to keep de degradating into a place where no one's going to recover, and then eventually the Chinese will just take our debt and take our nation. And that's exactly where they're heading can't act professional, they can't do their damn job, they shouldn't have a badge, period. So that guy's closer than me. All these 
cops, pedestrians have been closer to me, but they're not holding the camera out, so they don't intimidate the cops like I do. Transparency scares bad cops, makes them aggressive, makes them bully. They try to talk about weapons. They are a weapon. Police are a lethal weapon against the people that is used by the state to oppress people and keep the prison state in check. Make sure that the prison state has lots of people to abuse, that we create the new type of slavery. It's called the prison state. It was enacted in the 13th Amendment, apparently, from what I learned today. I haven't really read it, but uh, yeah, the, uh, it's outside the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights is the first 10 amendments to the Constitution, starting with the freedom of speech, religion, and press. That's the First Amendment. The Second Amendment is the right to bear arms, including the right to bear arms that can defend yourself against the government. I don't really know what the Third Amendment is. Fourth Amendment is the right to be secure in your, your effects and to not consent to a search without a warrant that specifically lists what they're looking for and talks to witnesses and everything else signed by a judge, not rubber stamped. In Texas, they rubber stamp, and that's like unconstitutional. And all the all the judges that rubber stamp, and all the clerks, and all the all the police that serve those warrants should all be put in prison for their crimes, because that's a high crime against the Constitution, and it's a lot a lot bigger than any kind of petty crime, any kind of petty assault, any kind of petty theft, any kind of petty speeding ticket, DWI, all of that. Constitutional crimes are high crimes, and there shouldn't be any kind of enforcement of any kind of law until we can start getting control of our police officers. These are our employees. These aren't some people that rule over us and dominate us. These are our employees. And if they can't act like our employees, then they can get a job at Taco Bell. Maybe they can learn a little bit about respect there, because they don't have any respect for the civilians right now. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.